It's at zero kilobytes. It says it's re reconnected now. Anyway, I think we're um, reconnected now. So anyway, they they get the balloon down. The boy's not in it. Mom calls and says he was um, the the boy was was at home hiding. Right. So let's see. I'm gonna share a computer sound. Hopefully you can hear this. <clears throat> but this is what was said. So they was on the on the news channel being interviewed. And they're asking the little boy, why was he lying? Why did he act like, he, why was he hiding? No. Let's we see. did this there. You did? Falcon. Listen. Can you hear that? Uh, mm -hmm. he's, he's asking Falcon, did you hear us calling your name at any time? Mm -hmm. You did? You did? Why didn't you come out? Um, you guys said that, um, we did this for the show. Yeah. Oh. No. You didn't um, come out? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what happened was uh, they, they were on their live on CNN giving an interview and said, we were looking for you. Why didn't you come out? He said, because you told me not to. You told me to hide in there. We're going to do oh. this for the show. <laughs> and he got busted, man. But... You know, just do, doing all these these things, these hoaxes, man, setting up this stuff and people getting getting caught and, and getting, you know, found out. But it's crazy, man, what, what people are willing to do. So I yeah. forgot the point with the Internet cutting in and out, but it's just <laughs> it's dealing with these ho good. hoaxers, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, most of us want to believe they want to deceive, you know, and they want to make money off of it. it it's got to be money and attention driven, you know, for sure. People want attention. Uh, people say the most ludicrous things and believe it over just the need for attention. And, uh, you know, we all fall into it in different ways. Got to try to acknowledge it and realize that, you know, you're bending your reality now. You're, it's, you're, and you're, you're giving these people false hopes and false, false beliefs. And all for what? So that you can feel a little better, you know, it, it's a it's a terrible thing that they do, you know, because there's there's I'm gullible person, but I'm not even on the worst of the spectrum, you know. There's a lot of people that are going to buy this stuff and believe it, and they'll argue and and fight against you if you dare not believe, you know. It's the core of of a lot of what's going on all over the world. From you know, it's the oldest tale there is, probably. You know? We're going to keep fighting over you believe one way and I believe another way. And yeah. in the end, we need to look at consensus. You know, that's one problem I have with psychics. I love to try to believe in the psychics. I want to listen to them and hear them. But why are you all not saying the same thing? If you can all see beyond time and space and you can see what the rest of us can't see, you should all should be saying the exact same thing. You know, that's the way I see it. If you say that you can remote view the moon and see what's up there, then every one of you should see the exact same thing. <laughs> but you all see something different. Where going does that different, There's a lot going on on the moon, Chris. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> you know. It's, it's, it's uh, occupied by many different races of aliens. So if psychics are true, they're our best, they're our best asset. They're our tool. You know, they're... Mm -hmm when that consensus can be reached and ego set aside. And if this stuff is all true and they can look and tell us what it's got, because you have the ability. I don't. So I have to rely on you to tell me what you saw, <laughs> but you saw something different than the last person that yeah. looked at the same thing. And that's where I start having mm -hmm. red flags where, get, you know, I want to believe the things, but mm -hmm. I can't help but see those flags. I get frustrated on here sometimes, you know, talking to the same people i'm like oh another psychic another medium another this another that and so you don't want to grow weary and well doing i want to be i want it to be something i enjoy i, I switch it up <laughs> you know because if i do too many of them back to back then i don't want to um i could just you know you just want well we do different. get to see the areas they agree on that's that's the upside to it of, of interviewing so many of them we can see where they agree and they agree on mostly all the love stuff you know <laughs> yeah right that's the part that matters right yeah that's um the repeatability is love you know yeah that's good um 
have you ever heard of the McPherson tapes that came out in like 94, 95? McPherson tapes? Mm, no, so no, U- no. UFO footage that they played on like the WB or at the time. Um, it like does a, a an alien abduction uh, VHS that they found. The McPherson tapes. Uh, incident at uh, Lake County. 86, yeah, I know this. Yeah, so that was something back in the early 90s. You're talking about a hoax or whatever, the UFO hoax. Uh, they played that on, like the, the. Oh, yeah, they were the ones abducted. Yeah, I've seen all this. They found the mm-hmm. tape and stuff, yeah. Yeah, Some lost, that ho- may have been the first lost footage thing. I know, know, right? I mean, that was, you know, <laughs> that. Lost footage is a big thing. That was before thing, its time. I mean, that's kind of like, uh, you know, uh, Blair Witch before Blair Witch as well, you know? Mm hmm. First person, you know what I'm saying, selfie mode most of the time recording. They had it scripted and all these people got abducted by aliens. And as a kid, like I was really big into that. And I'm like, see, I told you it's real. It's real. Like it scared me. Like I I knew they existed, you know, and these people got abducted and they had footage of the aliens were even on on the camera and stuff like that. But come to find out, those you can look those names up. Those are actors. Like they're yeah. all actors, you know. Yeah, recently there was a guy that did some interview similar to ours where he was going to uh, prove some kind of psychic power and he makes a pen land on the table or something. And, you know, he's done that from off screen. <laughs> and they yeah. caught him because he you could see his arm a little bit, you know. Yeah. You know, why? 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 Why do we want to deceive? What is it that we're looking for that you need to deceive? And do people even know that they are deceiving, you know? They just bought into this stuff so much, believe it so much, and have that fervor that they want to share it. Very much of that happens too, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Um, is that a John Snow picture behind you? Yes. Who drew that? Um, my sister got it somewhere. I don't recall okay. who, who drew it. Uh, my daughter thinks that it's uh, that it's Sirius Black. It does kind of look like him. I think I look like Sirius Black. You look a little like Sirius Black. <laughs> they, my wife and them, they wanted me to go as Sirius Black for, uh, like... Speaking Halloween of my family, I have to tell my daughter, Skirkle, and my son, hey, look, Jace, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're in the comment section hanging out. Our... Skirkle. <laughs> Skirkle. Yeah, they're hanging out in the comment, posting that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Dad does. I haven't seen any of that stuff. Sure. So, uh, shoot, man, speaking of Game of Thrones, are you caught up? Oh, you yeah. watch it? I'm a. What'd uh, you think? Okay, right, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! <laughs> spoiler alert! If you don't, if you watch Game of Thrones and haven't finished it, which I don't think you watch Game of Thrones if you haven't finished it, right? Um, yeah, right. Think? <laughs> really? I think yeah. that it had to fade away. Every life had to return to as close to normal as it ha- it could, and you know, it couldn't be any more grand because we've done all the grand stuff. Now we just need life to go back to being normal so i think it was a decent ending you know it was like the birth of a democracy i enjoyed watching the the council brawn and them you know messing with each other Uh, Mm -hmm. that was good life has calmed down all these threats are gone for now Jon Snow really, I mean, looked like a sad ending probably just because of the look on his face the whole time and he was making love to the queen and now he's being so I don't think so. so-called. I think he really longed to be back with the free folks. Exactly, for a long because he time. was. Te- I mean, that's what it looked like. But he was telling people, he did. He'd been telling you the whole time, "I don't want the throne. I don't yeah. want to be king." You Duty have to be kept king. him away from where he wanted to be. Duty yeah. kept him away as when he was with the Watch. Then, when they do proclaim him king in the north, Duty kept him away. Now he was done with all that. He's done been killed for his duty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think he just. Went to take his wolf on out into the wilderness and live his life out, you know. Yeah, I think it was good. Yeah, I think if they would have done any more, we would have needed a whole new series. You know what I mean? Well, that's supposedly. <laughs> I mean, that's why they set up some of that stuff was to promote new series from. Yeah, I've seen people. the spinoff previews for uh, Arya. Uh, no, Lyanna and Rhaegar. The story of Lyanna and Rhaegar leading up to Robert's rebellion. That looks like it's going to be pretty good. Then they've got a spinoff of uh, how the ch- the children of the forest created the Night King. Out of Those the first they were men. cool. They should have been in it longer. Yeah. I really that, you talking about elementals or whatever. Like they were, they were cool. Yeah, yeah. 
something I've not studied into quite as much as, as I'd like to yet is the elemental stuff. Uh, when you included that snippet in your song about the salamander, it got me really interested. And mm-hmm. Since then, I've looked a little into it, but I haven't dug deep yet. But, yeah, it's very interesting, man. I really uh, do believe... Um... You know, there's something there, too, uh, that guards over each one of those kingdoms, whether it's an an angelic force or they're just embodied in these little creatures or whatever. We'd like to say the lore and the fairy tale, but it's definitely the spirits uh, that guard over each of that stuff and pull and push the tide. And they have a duty and a job to do with this ecosystem of of just our reality and the matrix that holds this stuff together. And we want to know how it works and operates. And when you look into the the really fine detail you see you know what uh you know what I'm saying Paracelsus wrote down as the the elemental beings that exist and you know so uh it's it definitely interesting and I've I've definitely um encountered an elemental not as far as like a nature uh spirit that just they just exist like the the when I was uh when you know you heard my story about the warlock summoning a spirit on me well, the, supposedly that's an elemental spirit that he created. Like uh, we're talking about creating topos and stuff that he created this elemental spirit out of the blackest of night that you have to use the elements and smoke and use something from the earth to create these things. I mean, even the golem, you know what I'm saying, from Jewish lore was made out of the earth and, and ground. And um, so the experience I had was supposedly with an elemental that someone summoned to attack me. You know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of what opened me up to just, you know, looking into that kind of stuff and uh, seeing people use it for their own good. But that stuff always backfires. And when you create something like that, you need to handle your business yourself. Quit sending deities out to fight your battles for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like your nasty words on social media. People forgot how to use these. And sometimes that's just what it, yeah. needs to go back to i mean instead of this this backbiting crap that goes on i remember when you just got punched in the nose dusted yourself off and you were both okay later instead now we've got bullying that's causing little kids to kill themselves and stuff and you know the, the intention is the most universal thing there is is intention mm-hmm. regardless if the guy really made a tulpa or if he really sent an elemental demon after you or not he intended for you to be hurt by his his intention you know he he wanted you to suffer for what you had done and he had sent that intention out and and for sure uh there's different ways it can manifest but you know i asked you earlier uh, a few days ago about the psychic attack thing and man it, it could be for sure something to it where you don't have to say something to someone's face but talk a lot about that person to yeah. someone else and oh, that vibe it. could enter and, and feel and they could feel that you know yeah there's been times in my life that i felt like I've heard conversations continue after I left, you know, Hmm. like somehow my awareness stayed with the conversation I was in before. And, and most of the time you just shake it off to that's my imagination. You know, that's just some things I thought that they would say and something happens to prove it. Oh yeah. After you left, we were talking about this and (laughs) I knew you were talking about that. That's crazy. Yeah. And those confirmations are kind of interesting to put together. You know, like your radio station thing, I've definitely wondered if I'm picking up on the rotation, you know. <laughs> That's scary. That's man, happened dude. for sure like, to me, on. too. Y'all have the same rotation y'all play every day? It's yeah. just like, hey, we're putting it on. This is the top 40 in Christian music, and we're just going to yeah. play it and do commentary. But they said, no, it's all random. I was like, what? Yeah. Well, you're talking about, like, the the power of your words. I mean, life and death is in the power of the tongue. And one of the, the main ways I felt it was when I was going through a lot of that stuff, when I was in church kind of coming out of it you know i ain't been in a couple of weeks and i would do podcast interviews and we would talk about elementals we would talk about sun gazing we're talking about all this stuff with the early days of my podcast and they would talk about it not with me i wasn't part of the conversation i would have loved to have been you know what, what do you think about this you know it's demonic okay whatever but I, I was never part of that conversation it was always being had without me stay away from him he's into some things that uh is demonic or whatever the case is you know you hear all these stuff and i would hear it third party so i went to a um and my, i went back to the old church just after a couple of weeks or whatever and i heard that so and so was gossiping and friend and other friends were there and they would tell me hey man they said this but i didn't i took up for you bro you hear this like stuff like that but then um 
it was just weird because like I went to the church and I even I knew it. I felt it going in. I was like, all right, man, I ain't gonna let this stop me. I'm going to support a friend. A friend of mine had an album release party, and I would hate to say, nope, I'm not coming because I don't like this person. You know, it's like, no, you my homie. You're releasing your album. I'll be there. Nothing's gonna stop me. Now, real, real friendship. That should happen. Now we look and say, oh, he's gonna be there. I'm not going, right? But I I went and um and I felt uneasy at going, but then. When I made eye contact with people, they would look down. Oh, you're here? One of them said, why yeah, are you here? It's almost like a confirmation right there. Yeah. So my, and p- this were people who used to embrace you. They look at you and they, oh, Lord. Like, oh, you were talking about me. You were one of the ones who were gossiping, telling people to stay away from me. And now I'm here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, hey, hey, how are you? You know, one dude was like, oh, man, why are you here? How they let you in here? It's like. What you mean, how they let me in? Like, what's the deal? Yeah. Like, what, what y'all know that I don't know? Because y'all ain't told me nothing. And now that guilty conscience it. done put you on blast, huh? <laughs> yeah, you can feel yeah. it. You're talking about being empathetic, being able to feel. You can mm-hmm. feel when people are gossiping around you. And, and these people, you're like, these are the only friends I got. That's all I, I got. You can really feel people's intentions, you know. And, and the tricky part is that people want to fool you with their intentions. This is the part that always gets me. You know, people that are well-meaning and you think they're there to, to help. And this is where I get gullible because their intention was to fool me. And as well as I like to believe in my ability to discern and, 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 and understand what's going on, if your intention is to fool me, it's probably going to work. You just fooled me. And so I've had to learn to be weary about that sort of thing. But I think that we feel each other's intentions for sure. If someone's intentions driving down the road or are against you, you can tell it. You can tell it, you know. And I really believe that, and maybe I'm crazy for it, but, I, you know, it, when I pass them, they flip me off. So <laughs> that must have been their intention, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, it's some crazy. <laughs> it's like yeah. instant karma. You watch those instant karma videos on YouTube, and it's usually people driving. <laughs> I've experienced. Doing stupid stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, instant karma, man. But no, you can feel that, and it can be used for good or bad. The, the, the spiritual gift, the the empathy is uh, not a respecter of persons. No. And you can use it for good or bad. You can use the kundalini. You can use the Holy Spirit for good or bad. Now, you're going to have consequences. You're going to suffer if you choose the path of the dark side. I mean, all of the hero's journeys have been telling us that. Star Wars has been telling us that. The Bible, the Bhagavad Gita, all of these holy books have been telling you, choose life that you may live. That's right. a universal principle. You know, you do dirt, you get dirt. It's just part of it. And so, uh, you know, it's it, it's not do a respect right for no other reason that it's the right thing to do. It's the right you thing know? to do. And Jesus talked about it over and over. Don't let your right hand know what the left is doing. Don't give in order to get. Just give because you're just a good dude. Good because you really give because you really care about people. Spend time with that person. You know, go above and beyond. And, and, and you're, and you're going to get that stuff in return when you need it. You know, I talk about the, the, the weird stuff I experienced so with all the gossip and the backbiting and people can't look me in the eyes and stuff like that that I experienced when I was going through that stuff. But, I mean, I just, I even that, as much as that hurt and it was just a weird thing to be a part of, like I, I, I participated in probably just as much of that as I received with exposing ministers and calling people false prophets and and exposing doctrine and i mean even you know we used to have billboards with like preacher with benny hen and creflo dollar and we'd hold them up and say these were money like we used we were no joke when we really took that stuff serious you know and so i really believe that uh i just got a taste of my own medicine and which is universal law whatever you put out is going to come back to you and eventually i got to feel what it feels like to gossip i got to feel what it feels like to expose somebody to laugh at them in their calamity you know what I'm saying? And all that stuff. And so, you know, that's the best teacher is to go through it and learn for yourself. And you and you like I say, you, you, you know how you learn how to quit gossiping about people know what it feels like when people gossip about you. That's how you learn. You know how to learn how to not steal, not just because, you know, it's the right thing. You ever been stole from, you know? Yeah, it sucks. You, somebody steal something from you and break your window or have your friends steal from you. Like, yeah, you go through it. You learn from it and. You know, you're you're better because of it if you respond, you know, with love. And that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, I'm bad about carrying terrible thoughts sometimes about people, especially the materialist stuff. When I see people that are just, 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 
you can tell that they spend every bit of their money on trying to look like they have so much money. And you know, it's just these things get to me and I'm looking at people and I see this stuff and I don't mean for it to affect me, but it does. I've got this opinion I've made on somebody. And then later I'm going, man, that was not, not how I meant to be, mm -hmm. you know, but then the next time it happens, I do it again, you know, each day trying to do it a little less, but each day probably having a little fun with it too. You know, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. an interesting thing. Cause I don't think that's wrong. I think, I don't think that it's, that it's right to be so materialistic in life, but that doesn't give me the right to be the judge of that, even though I take that right sometimes. So got to keep that in check sometimes. But, you know, that's that's the path we all work is walk is trying to keep ourselves in check on those things that we know we do wrong. You know, those things that don't serve us, I should say, rather than wrong, because right and wrong is so subjective in some ways. But mm -hmm. does it serve you? Does it make you better? Or does it make you a more bitter person? And some of those things make me a more bitter person. But I try to stay the best I can aware of them and not do them. And that's. That's the diligence that we have to go through in life. That's the diligence that Jesus was teaching us. You know, and, uh, yeah. you know, sometimes I'm on the fence with Jesus. Was he really a Messiah that died on the cross and ascended to heaven and resurrection? Was all of this stuff legit and very well maybe? I've also heard stories that there was different people involved and that took him off the cross and revived him. He lived his days out in India. There's stories. There's like different... Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Tupac. There's different stories. But one thing that can't be denied about Jesus is, is that the example that you read about is the perfect example of how to be. Yeah. And the teachings are sound and the ethics are there. And if that's what you need to learn how to be a better person, then you need to get that yeah. book open and take a look at it. Exactly. And understand I mean... it. You know, there's people who accept him for dying on the cross for his, for their sins, but they don't accept him for being a better person and doing what he said do. He said, why do you say you love me and you don't obey me? I, I, he's like, I'm, I'm interested in the people who obey me without being told. Blessed are them who, who, who keep my word and they have not even seen me. They don't even, they've never even met me, but they're by nature doing the very things that I told them to do. Their very conscience bears witness. I didn't have to tell them. To keep mm -hmm. telling you over and over and over to, to do what's right. They know what's right and they do it. You know, mm -hmm. and this is, this is Christ taught that, man. You know, and uh, it becomes, again, the spiritual, supernatural. Jesus dying on our cross, dying on the cross for sins becomes very practical. And we have to take up our own cross and follow him like he said. And really do what he did. And that's how we make a difference in the world. Just accepting him as Savior. That's, you mm -hmm. know, what's that? You, yeah. He's not, you have to accept him as Lord. Follow him. Let him be your teacher. Endure Guide to the him. end. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't give up, man. So that's what it is, man. Uh, I enjoyed this conversation, Garner. Go ahead and plug your links and uh, let people know where they can pick up your 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 latest book and uh, all that kind of stuff, man. <laughs> I don't have links. If I run across you and I can help you with a little bit of wisdom, I'm glad to help. But other than that, <laughs> see you wherever I see you. <laughs> see you when we see you. Yeah, and I'll see you this weekend, man. We're uh, because we have a, a tribe, a community of people that we try to hold together online on through a Discord, which the very na name of Discord means like confusion and stuff, right? But we're trying to make it work and take advantage of technology and uh, be connected. So with that being said, we're going to be able to meet each other for the first time this weekend. We're going to um, go to the beach and hang out and you're driving from across the country with your family and we're going to make it work. That's what we do. It's about community. I really believe that, man. And right. I I'm ready for, for some that. beach time. <laughs> Believe in that. It's about fellowship, yeah. man. So if you're looking yes, for community, is. man, plug in with us. There's links to our Discord in the in the uh, comment section. Maybe you have something you want to add to this conversation. Maybe you have a question for Chris Garner that I didn't get to ask him. He's on Discord all the time. Get on there, pick his brain. He's a really good guy. Chris, appreciate uh, appreciate all your support. Sup appreciate your insight, what you bring to the community. It's always a good time to see you when you join us in School of the Mystics and what you bring and 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 uh, the, the reasoning that's applied. And I think a lot of other people feel that as well, man. So thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me, man. I really uh, appreciate it. We'll do it again. Thank you, man. All fun. right, brother. Peace and shalom, man. Peace. Chris Garner, ladies and gentlemen. A good guy. We need more people like him. We need more people like him in the earth. 
Danny, Danny Godetto, he's in the chat. He says he wants to come to the beach. We're going to be getting in, getting into some prayer Friday night. We're going to seek the Lord together. We're going to pray for burdens to be lifted, whatever you're going through. We're going to meet at our house for that. Saturday, we're going to go to the beach and get it in, in the water, in the sun, maybe play some volleyball, you know, just commute, just be people, man, be real. I like to go to the beach, man. I like to swim. I can swim really good, man. It's going to be fun growing with community we got people dropping from all over just to hang out really that's just a uh maybe an outcry or just people wanting to connect because we we're supposed to do the, the memphis event but it got canceled and so people are like you know what we still want to get up we were planning on coming i know it got canceled but we're going to still hang out so people are driving from all over the the uh the, the u.s to come like eight hours 12 hours 10 hours different people driving so um if you want to connect with us man get up with us we're gonna have fun and we're gonna try to plan on doing this more we want to do more meetings we want to try to even do some more of the uh the events and and plan it and hopefully it'll work out i'm going to be talking to some people here um uh, tomorrow i believe or thursday uh, about maybe doing an event in september so if you guys want to uh be a part of that make sure you stay connected find out what's going on if you want to be a member of our uh, patreon community there's so much there like i said you get access to the school of the mystics for a dollar a dollar man a dollar man one dollar per month you get access to the school of the mystics you get access to my entire discography for another level and um and so i'm really thankful for that again i could not do this in the level that i'm doing it without your help you guys really mean the world to me i know i wish i could name everybody every episode i would at this point be naming You know, hundreds of people literally who believe in my work and have partnered with me and people who have stuck around and uh, counted the cost and made sacrifices. You guys freaking rock. Thank you so much. And uh, it goes a long way. Um, So that we have our uh, Sunday seer sessions, which are really just, uh, you know, uh, it's a small group. And we really just tap in and go in it, go in together, tap in the spirit and um you know, really listen to one another and what people are dealing with and and try to bring that to the throne of of heaven. And uh, and we we, we minister, we pray, and we just love on the Lord and uh, let him love back on us and uh, really cultivate that relationship that way. So if you're looking for a small group, sometimes there's teaching, sometimes there's meditation, sometimes there's breath work, a lot of different stuff going on. So if you want to do that, that's $12 a week. Um, every Sunday morning, 8 a.m. Central. I got people who join in California at 6 o'clock in the morning. They wake their butts up and they get it in. They love it. They need it. I love it. I need it. And hey, this is what we do. Sunday morning seer class. Patreon.com backslash True Seeker. Love you guys. We'll get it in. We'll do it again. Make sure y'all check that out. Make sure you check out my meditations. I'm working on some more. It's going to be good stuff. Peace and shalom. We'll talk to y'all later. Your will is so much higher than mine, so much higher than mine, so much deeper than mine, so much deeper than mine. Well, that does it for this episode, folks. To hear more episodes of the Truth Seeker podcast, head over to truthseeker.com. And if you're wanting to support the show and get rewards, go to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash truthseeker.